We want to talk about how to respond to a virtual kidnapping call. Uh, the first thing to do, of course, is hang up the phone, but you've got to figure out whether it's for real or not. If engaging the caller, you don't want to call out the loved one's name, but it, that's easier said than done, right? Yes. Because you just reflexively yeah. said your daughter's name. Right. right. And your mind plays tricks with you. you. Hear her voice. It's her. She needs her mom. She's in trouble. Sam, Sam. Yeah, and it sounded like her, right? Because yes. your perceptual set is you've already programmed your mind. Exactly. You ask questions to slow down the situation, and you, you drug your feet big time, right? Oh, yeah. He finally realized that I was slow playing him, um, and then I offered to give him $2,000 of American Express uh, gift cards because I kept telling him that the Visa 500 was not there, but he said that his man wouldn't take American Express. He would only take Visa. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I started to think this might be a scam. But at yeah. the same time, I was so petrified answer. that I had Samantha's life in my hands that, that right. if I did or said something wrong. And you started asking questions to identify her? Proof of life, give me some idea that right, you have that her. I, I kept saying, I, I, I need to know that she's safe. I need to know that she's okay. I need to hear her voice. And what did he say? He said that he made the rules uh, in a very aggressive, uh, lots of curse words, and yeah. told me what he was going to do to her sexually, uh, and what he was going to, then he was going to put a bullet in her head if I asked it, try to change the, you know, the plan again. Right. And, of course, do not share information about yourself or your family. Listen carefully to the alleged loved one if they speak, if they do because they're playing a, a, a tape in the background. Try to contact the alleged loved one via phone, text, etc., anything. Request that the alleged loved one call back from their cell phone. Do not agree to pay a ransom by wire or in person. You, you want to you do everything you can to, to slow down and confound this situation. And you ultimately verified that she was okay so as soon as it, I heard her voice, I went running into him at the phone. I've got her. She's fine. It's, it's a hoax. And then you chatted him up a bit once you knew that. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I first made sure it was Samantha. I asked her questions that only she would know uh, how to answer. Uh, right. Because I didn't know whether that guy, you know, had her standing right, you know, next to him, you right. know, at the point, that point. But uh, once, once I knew she was okay, I... I, I got my pound of flesh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and did he just hang up and go away? Yeah. I mean, once, once, you know, he knew I was messing with him and he finally realized with the strength in which I was changing the rules, uh, even though he, he said again that he was going to put a bullet in her head, I told him, you know, uh, in no uncertain terms that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Uh, and then he finally got uh, very frustrated and realized that we weren't going to pay him yeah. the money. Then he said, golly darn, and hung up. Right? Yes, that's oh, exactly yeah. what he said. Yeah, yeah. Golly, golly darn, darn and yes. hung up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, Brad, anything to add to this to help people protect themselves? The, the program doesn't necessarily take over the phone line of the spoof number, so you could essentially text the phone even while you're on the phone with it, and, and, and the, the true person will be able to answer. Oh, that, uh, okay. All right, that's good to know. So the fact that they've hijacked and, and called showing the information in the phone, that line is still open. Correct. 